Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I hope you had a good turkey day. Maybe you're still having it. I don't know if you're in a different time zone. Let me, uh, oops, just waiting for this to pop up. So yeah, we had a small group here. Um, ooh, let me shift this up a little bit. Just me, uh, my husband, my mom, and my brother and sister-in-law. Um, but it was good. Of course, too many leftovers. A lot of leftovers. Um, but it's all good. Hey, Vicki. Awesome. All right. So, thanks for being here. I didn't want to miss a week. Um, and I knew, frankly, that we would be done with everybody Thanksgiving. We're usually cleaned up and have everybody. It's gone by 7. So, I knew it wasn't going to be a stretch. Um, but... I want to do, I wanted to make some cards and do some different things with the paper pumpkin that we got this month. So if you were watching later, um, thumbs, likes, hearts, comments, all that, especially, you know, like, if you like it, comment, if you have a question, ask me, because even if it's not live, um, especially if you're watching on YouTube later. Uh, I'll get a notification of your question and then I can get back um, to you and get an answer. So let me just check that this is straight-ish. I think my phone is, um, oops, maybe not leveled this way. All right, let me give it a minute to catch up and I'll see. Okay, looks good. All right, so uh, we're working with Paper Pumpkin Kit, the Gifts Galore, and I already opened it last week, um, but it looks like this. So we've got nine treat boxes, and then you put little sides on them, so like a front and a back, um, and then we've got the stamp set, which I have not cracked open. I haven't done any stamping. I didn't even finish pulling all the supplies out of here, uh, so we're just going to jump into it. Hi, Deborah. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Hope you had a good holiday dinner. If Thanksgiving, I guess Thanksgiving's not everybody's thing, but all right. So back to this kit. So treat bags. I do like a good treat bag and I love boxes. Um, I think these boxes are a little weirdly shaped and the size is weird. Um, I do like these little bags though. These, the gusseted bags are three by nine, almost nine. And, um, that sounds like what we have in the catalog. We have some printed bags like this in the catalog. Um, so I'm going to save these because actually, you know what? I will show you, we'll do this on the fly. We'll do this at the end. All right. So somebody remind me treat bag idea at the end. Um, so we've got tear and tape. Mm, interesting. Because I just ordered another thing of that. So good. That'll come in handy. And I'm just throwing this all. So we've got flirty flamingo or calypso coral. And that is old olive and some little clips. All right. And some teeny, a teeny amount of dimensionals. Hey, Sue. I'm glad you're here. So I'm going to make a couple of different boxes and then the rest cards um, because I think I was getting to that. I do like treat boxes um, generally. Oh wait, more of these things. Wait a minute. Did I get extra? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I did not get extra. That was just the way it was packaged. Um, and this cardboard, I normally save this to, um, like sometimes I'll need to stamp on it, but I always have plans like, oh, I'm going to make a scrapbook like from scratch. And, but this, I don't like this. So this one's going to go away. Oh, you're in the car driving home. That's right. You got, so you got to see all your nine grandchildren, Deborah. That's awesome. And you're going to make these for your grandkids, aren't you? Cause that's like the perfect number. Um, I am not going to, I don't know if I'm going to save these 
forever. I'm going to save them for now because I just don't want to throw them away. Um, but when you put one together, it's a, it's a wonky size. I mean, that's kind of cool that it tapers in, but I don't understand the whys. Like, why did it have to be like that? It could have been perfectly straight up and down. So, and plus it seems a little small um, because this treat bag, it seems like we're going to have some treats in there and then we're going to have this much extra sticking up that we could be using for chocolate or something yummy. So I'm not going to throw these away right yet, but honestly, that's probably where they're going to, they're, they're going to end up. All right. Then we've got all of our tags and we're going to use those. Um, just the four circles. Hmm. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five times two. So we've got 10 of these tags, eight of the banners and only four circles. What are the circles supposed to go on? Because I never look at the, okay. On the snowman. Here's the thing. I love that they have like the color instructions now, and it's very easy to follow. Um, I am not the best example of this because I don't, look at these and I probably should because there are some sometimes there's interesting tips on here um, but since I'm not making these according to their guidelines anyway ooh, excuse me my cauliflower flower casseroles coming back up all right let's get to it um, snowmen I noticed just last night that all the snowmen noses were green um, Oh, you're right, Deborah. I could cut tags out of them. I could cut something out of them because that is, this is a sturdy cardstock. This is like the thick. You're right. I shouldn't be so quick. Um, but all the snowman noses were green. Boo. So I took, I colored them first with my pumpkin pie stamp and blend because I thought, oh, maybe that'll show up over top of the green. It did not. Um, so I have this. Nouveau Crystal Drops, which I love this stuff. I have a bunch of colors, but this one is called Gloss Ripened Pumpkin. And I thought, well, we might be able to see through it. We might not, but I'm going to try it. So I loaded it up on all of them and it is something you have to let dry overnight and it's good enough. I mean, I still feel like I can see a little bit of the green poking out. Um, and I obviously didn't do a perfect job, but it's, it's good enough. It's orange ish. And I like it. All right, so we're going to use those. Um, then we've got our trees. My first idea for these trees was just to glue two back to back like this and then have like do a score mark over here, but they don't match up. So that's not going to work. So all the trees are the exact same size. So there's no front or back. Um, eh, whatever. So let's make a box first. I want a bigger box than the little gift boxes. Uh, so let's grab my pile of stuff and I'll just show you what we're gonna, kind of what we're gonna work on. Cause this, I just had like ideas. I didn't actually write everything out. So we're gonna have some regular size cards like our five and a half by four and a quarter. And I've got some different bases and then I've got some different layers um, that I've embossed some pieces. Why do I have those plain? I don't know. Um, so we've got white, a lot of the brick, time-worn type, macrame, the wood, the timber, more of the brick, brick, and then the Merry Melody. So those are regular size cards. Let me put these off to here. Then I'm going to make some five by seven cards because most of these shapes are a good fit for a five by seven card. And I didn't want to necessarily cut them all off. So I've got a couple of those white flirty flamingo red and a pool party, different layers. We're going to see how that goes. Um, then I have two full sheets. So we're going to make a box. All right, so actually we're going to do work with the green first and with the trees. So this box, let me bring this back in. This box as intended. All right, I'm just going to hold it. 
there's marks on the back of this on the back of this on all the shapes like right here and that's where you're supposed to glue this box in so this box um, I want a taller box so this is only covering like the very bottom and actually it doesn't go to the bottom of like the table because I guess the box would peek out so it's up over it hmm I really don't know if I like that but no matter we're not going to use it so I want a box that is taller and as wide as we can go so let's measure um, I'd have to measure the most narrow part so this is let's say two inches and two by four looks like I can make that four inches tall because the box can only come up to right about here all right two by four okay let's draw this out so I'm gonna make a box out of this let's do this one in green since it is green so I need a two by four four inch tall box so I'm gonna have a piece of however long it ends up being two inch panels two inch panels boop one two three four this will be our tab all right this is going to be a half inch um, then the bottom I want this to be two so each one of these two 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 and then the bottom flap is going to be two and then this top this part right here four all right I'm just dragging this over so my paper has to be six by two four six eight eight and a half all right and I'm going to end up cutting this off and then we'll cut this at an angle and then this at a slight angle and then we'll cut these flaps in between here just like a basic one piece box with no lid by the way so six by eight and a half oh and this is just for the tree box so this is already eight and a half so let's go six And this kind of box, um, I mean, it really, it doesn't take much to figure it out. Um, so we're going to score across each one of these is two. So it'll be two, four, six, eight. Okay. No list. I do have a list, Sue. Um, well, I made a list, but it's not with me now. So it's all up in my noggin. All right. Two, four, six, eight. All right, and then I want to turn it. So turn it once to the left, and I'm going to score it at four because I want this top bit to be four, and then the bottom is two. So yeah, I started out with a list that's in the other room. Um, so now we're just going to go by my pile of what I cut. All right, so now I'm going to cut these score marks and then cut this little tab off. So let's just go ahead and do that first. Cut the little tab. And then I said I was going to angle this one a little bit up there. And I'm not doing any stamping on this because there's no point. It's going to be hidden. All right, and I cut my score marks out. All right, and then we will get these little bits out. And one more. All right, let's get rid of this. And something hit my foot. All right, so we're just doing all of our folds. Scoring. So I like this size box better because you can actually put something in it and it doesn't have to be in a gift bag. Like you can fit lotions, um, candy, Candy's always good. Money, checks, earrings. Like, this is a decent size box. All right. So, see here, this is how our box is going to come together. And it's going to fit right in between our tree. So, it's just a bigger box, I think. All right, let's start with this part right here. So, we're going to go ahead and use this tape that they gave us this score tape, which I just got my turkey nails on before we went live, Sue. I meant to do this last night 
and I totally forgot. All right, let's put some tape here. And I leave this, this one flap flat. And then this one should come and meet up perfectly. Yep, it does. Now we're just going to tape the insides. Actually, I'm going to bring glue in now to get the, um, the bottom pieces together. So, oops, let's fold one in. And I'm going to put glue. Like that. And actually, if you had the Tombow glue, that would work well for this part as, as well. The Tombow has um, more wiggle room time. All right, now let's put this upright and I'm just gonna smash it down. I have found the difference, at least between the Barely Art Glue and the Art Glitter. The Art Glitter has even less wiggle room time than the Barely Art Glue. Um, I like it, but I have to work a little bit quicker, but definitely still the one with the most wiggle room time is the Tombow. Um, and I do still use this. All right, so we've got our box, two by four, and now we're just gonna tape these on here. And the fact that it's gonna peek out the bottom, that's why I made it green. Um, you're not really gonna notice it, but I like it being flat like this. All right, and you're not going to see any of the side bits of the box, and it's taller, so I like it. All right, so we're just gonna do, whoops, glue all over one side, and I'm just gonna hold it up to the tree, and I'm eyeballing to keep it in between the branches so you can't see the box. All right, now let's lay it on its side. Go in here with the bone folder. Nice. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. Glue over here. And same thing. Box on the table, tree on the table. And then I'm just eyeballing until I get it right in the middle of those branches. And then let's get in here with the bone folder. All right. Now I was gonna do the same thing with the snowman, um, but at this point I feel like, do you really need to see another one of those boxes? It will be a different measurement, so. Maybe I can do that. Um, mm, I mean, that only took 15 minutes. We'll do that at the end. How about that? If we have time. Otherwise, I'll just make it and show a picture. Because the idea, the principle is the same. You would measure our snowman. So like this can't be wider than his neck area. So it looks like this could be two and a quarter wide and a lot taller. So, mm, six inches tall. That would go to the very tippy top of his head. That would be a, a good size box too. Mm, mm, mm. Hey Gail, you're here, you're here. Good, good, good. All right, hmm. I think we should take the time to do this. All right, so that's the thing. Yep, snowman, let's do this one in blue. So this one, like I said, this one we want to be two and a quarter inch wide. So it'll be two and a quarter. And I mean, I could go six. Six inches tall. Okay. Same exact principle. Here's our bottom flap. We're going to do four. One, two, three, four flaps. This will be our half inch um, flap to adhere everything. We're gonna cut this off, angle that, angle that, cut here, here, here. Each one of these is gonna be two and a quarter. So two and a quarter, now I'm doing math. Two and a 
um, two and a quarter plus two and a quarter is four and a half. So this will be our score marks. Plus another two and a quarter is six and three quarters plus two and a quarter is eight, right? And then this half inch piece. So hmm, eight and a half. Wait, two, no, 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 that's not eight. Two and a quarter is eight, nine. So our paper needs to be nine and a half. And then this we said would be six and two and a quarter. Now your bottom flap when you're making this kind of box doesn't always have to be, you're right, Sue. Yep, good call. I'm glad I looked over, nine. Um, your bottom flap doesn't necessarily have to be the same width as your panels. It just makes it easier. It makes everything fold up nice like that. But if you are pressed for space, the only requirement is it has to be bigger than half. Because um, if you have, you know, say this is two and these were one inch pieces, you could technically have them meet up in the middle, but you're always, there's always going to be a little gap. So I say at least half, um, but I like having it the same. So let's get our other thing, measurement. Six plus two and a quarter, that's eight and a quarter. So our paper will be eight and a quarter by nine and a half. Math, math, math. I love it. All right, and then I'm doing pool party because the snowman, that's what color he's in. So eight and a quarter by nine and a half. I'm gonna cut the nine and a half first, and then eight and a quarter. Um, because I may, I'm gonna save this little strip. All right, scoring. Oh, here we go. I'll try to keep this in frame so we can see. So we're scoring on the nine and a half inch side. So we're gonna go at two and a quarter, four and a half, six and three quarters, and nine. And then we'll turn it one turn to the left and score it at six. All right. And then we'll do the same cutting and assembly business. Cut this little flap off and then we'll jump into some cards after we get this box finished. And then that, and hmm, oh, my bone folder's probably, oh, it'll barely fit. All right, I'm just pressing in here for a little bit because this does have a good quick grab. I like it, six by two and a quarter. Hmm, so let's just see, we can put glue in there. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we could put in there, like all my water brushes. So you can fit a good amount of stuff and a jumbo glue stick. I fit things like um, the lotions from Bath and Body Works. And then I had some sanitizers and some little miniature things. And I dropped the biggest thing in first and then filled in with the little things. Like drop them in and then shuck it around, you know, shake it around. All right, let's bring our snowman. So... Man, six inches, that was very um, 
tippy top. I might should have gone five and three quarters because it's going to poke out the top, but that's okay. All right. So again, let's add glue. And I'm just going to make sure that he stays, that the box stays within the, his neck area. All right. Yep. And the fact that it's poking out a little up at the top, let me turn around. So can you see this little smidgy corner hanging out? And then down here, not worried about that. Um, but I do like this size box. Nice. All right. And then same thing again on the back, just So we made a tree box. This is two by four. That's what these measurements are for. And then this box is six by two and a quarter. And that's what these are. So blue, green. So yeah, now that really gives you a size difference. Mm, I love it. I actually will use these. Um, and if I want to put something still in the baggie, I could because there's enough that could I could tie this off and have just a little bit hanging out the top so that's not completely dead to me yet all right those are the only boxes I'm making I think yep all right now let's let's move on to some cards how about that all right so cards let's do some five by sevens first so when I first grabbed these and I measured at least a snowman I thought oh he's gonna have to fit on a five by seven because he is just over six inches tall, almost six and a half, and the width is like four and a half. So I figured a five by seven card would be good, and actually for all of these. Um, so actually, let's do pull out these, and I'm gonna do like the card and the card bases first, and then I'll probably go back and put like the greetings and tags on them later. So let's do these, oh wait. So this one, I've got a four by six embossed layer uh, with the brick folder. So even the big embossing folders are only um, four inches tall. So the biggest piece you could emboss is six by six. Well, I wanted it to go on, like this is a four and a half by six and a half layer. So that's why I had to add this layer because I could not emboss this. Um, so actually let's use, oops, let's use this glue. I'm gonna work on a bunch of cards at the same time. How about that? Because there's nothing like confusing anybody by running different projects together. All right, and for some reason, um, so this is Poppy Parade cardstock, but my layering piece looks a little bit different. All right, so five by seven card. This was 10 by seven cardstock, and then you fold it in half at five. And I do have uh, five by seven envelopes. So that's going to work out perfectly fine. All right, this one I do want to pop up. I feel like I got to get that a little crisper. So let's get our good old foam tape. And I'm just going to put a couple pieces down and one in the middle and let's see am I gonna be able to fit this down the side yep all right so we will get this going and this is where I'm gonna add some of my Tombow glue to this foam tape uh, just so I can get you made pineapple upside down cake today? Vicki, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's just not something we normally have for Thanksgiving. And it just cracks me up. Her reasoning was because he wanted it for his birthday or Easter, which his birthday's in April. So it's like completely a different season even. But like I said, I will go down and enjoy a piece. 
All right, is this the right way? Oh, you know what I had? The cutest card. Ugh, I'll have to show it next week. So my sister has been in a rehab place for, um, she was in the hospital and now she can't like get up and walk around on her own. So she's got to have like physical therapy all the time. So she's been in this place for like three weeks now. And um, so it sucks she wasn't with us today. Uh, but they had kids come by their rooms and bring cards that they made. And so she got a little, the old hand turkey card. And this kid, you know, had traced around it. The turkey was just this part of the thumb, like the face and the head. And then it had two little legs on the bottom. And it was, it was adorable. But the thing that cracked me up was it opened like this. <laughs> And I just, I couldn't stop laughing. I was like, you have to let me take this and show it to my friends just because it's funny. I mean, I've done that stuff too. All right. Now this one, um, this piece is, I believe four and three quarters. Yep. By six and three quarters. So too big to emboss. Um, this time I just wanted to stamp some backgroundy stuff on it. So we're going to go with good old gorgeous leaves, which by the way, gorgeous leaves is retiring. It is going to be on the list that's coming out on December 1st. Um, the last chance list, or I think that's what we're calling it. Um, so I'm kind of disappointed because I just got it and I feel like I haven't used it enough. And I really, I like all the leaf sets anyway. Um, so I just want some random splotches here, but yeah, I'm disappointed that, uh, this and the dyes are going to be going, um, and the dyes are going to be on sale. Uh, I forget maybe 50%. I don't know. I'll have to look, uh, but everybody that's a demo, just make sure you pay attention to that, that list. Um, all right, let's glue this on. So this is our flirty flamingo and again, 10 by seven. Fold it in half.
So let's make sure this card is opening correctly. And eyeball this. Wiggle, wiggle slightly. Here we go. Yep, good. Okay. So all I'm going to do for these, let's pick which ones we want. So it's going to be three. I'm going to glue whatever shape. So we've got a snowman, a tree, and presents. And then I'll have to add the greetings. I think I'm going to add the greetings for all of them at the end. Um, mm. This one, I think, I feel it needs to go on the blue because there's so much pink here and so much red here. Like, I think it's going to blend in. So I think, I really do think I want that one on the blue. Um, and then this guy, oof, I think I really want him here even though that's going to cover up most of this business. Um, but it's cute. We can have them at an angle or just like that. I mean, I guess it's good enough that we see it, you know, poking out the top and the bottom. I think I'm going to stick with that. And then the tree, I definitely want on the red with the brick. Cause I figured that was like, you know, at home or something. So that's all we're going to do is glue these on for now. You know what? Um, I'm going to save this. We are going to do something with this with a tree. I'm going to cut it in half, but okay. Let's glue this on for now. And don't forget, I do have five by seven envelopes, so I am not worried about it. And I really, I don't think this is going to be so heavy that um, that it's gonna require extra postage. All right, you forgot to look at the dollar store, Sue? It's not like they run out. Vicki, you can make envelopes. Um, I was thinking about that this morning. So I was looking at my envelope maker and um, to see like, cause that was my qual, you know, my next problem was like, oh, what if people don't have five by seven envelopes? And I thought, well, they can just make them. So let's take a time out and look at that for a minute. So the five by seven envelope requires nine and a half inch paper. And then again, I was like, I don't want people to have to use 12 by 12. So it's my plan to figure out how to make, I think there's math where we can just take like a full sheet of paper because you know, how we use an eight and a half by 11 and we can make a slim line envelope out of that whole sheet, there's got to be some math that I can figure out how to make something like that for this. Um, but yeah, I love them. All right. And then let's put this one on. Wait a minute. This one doesn't have any dimension. Let's put dimension. Let's pop this, um, these trees up. Um, and I'm going to put this at the bottom just because I want the presents to be like grounded. I want them to be on the floor. All right. So we will come back to these, but all these need are some gems. Um, the greeting, maybe a little bit of the twine. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So we'll come back to these for the greeting parts for this one. Let's check time. Oh, 10 of nine. Yikes. All right. We got to uh, move it a little quicker. All right. For this one, I want to cut the tree in half and then cut the pile of presents. And then again, we're just going to, uh, actually, let me put it, put it this way. 
and then slide it over. I'm trying to keep it straight-ish. All right, so then I have a half for another card, like that I can do on this side. Um, so this one, I'm gonna glue this down right up on the side here. And then the presents, I only want some of these presents. So I'm gonna cut, actually let's just cut them. I'm gonna go like closer, cutting some of the white off. Trim, trim, trim. And this is what I was gonna do with some of the regular size cards too. Then was just take some of these pieces and piece them together on the smaller cards. And I know I'm not gonna be able to get through all of them tonight, um, but I will definitely keep working on these tomorrow so I can see like how many can I end up with. All right, now let's pop the presents up. Even though I didn't pop the tree up, that's okay. And I'm not even gonna put glue on it because if it ended up crooked, not a huge deal. All right, now this one, Mm -mm. Yep, so I'm going to glue this one down flat. So like it's kind of like a Jenga gift pile and then we'll pop this one up. I like 5 by 7 cards too because there's so much more room to write in. Like, I mean, not that you have to write a dissertation on your Christmas cards, but for somebody, you know, if you haven't been in touch with them for the past year, it might be kind of nice. All right, let's put that one there. Mmm, I like this. And then I would have a greeting like right there, maybe one of the circles that that's gonna fit like right there. Mm-hmm. All right, let me put these here. So that's another base. Um, then we have, let's see what we have left of our pieces. So we've got a half a tree, one tree, three snowmen. Oh wait, here's another tree. So two and a half trees, three snowmen, and four packages. So there can be a lot of package cutting. All right, let's grab my pile and we're gonna see what we can get done. I really didn't wanna keep you guys too long. Um, let's grab a the Evening Evergreen. Um, now, I made all different colors and I thought, oh, I'm gonna mix and match these, but I really like tone on tone. So, who am I kidding? I'm gonna do tone on tone. So we'll do an Evening Evergreen base. So this is four by five and a quarter that I embossed. And let's see what's gonna fit on here. Hmm. Oh, and you know what I could do is, you know what? I am going to cut this back off. So let me get, I'm gonna glue this on. I think it went to about there. Yep. Okay. 
just go as close as I can to the top. There we go. And I do have to swipe that off with my finger so it doesn't, my cutter will not like to cut through that wet glue. All right, so now, mm, I like that. I'm just gonna trim the edges so it's not hanging over. So let's put this in at four and then five and a quarter. And then I'll cut the rest of that. I really don't want that glue to get on my blade because then I'll have to go get alcohol and clean it. Whereas my scissors are a lot easier to clean. There we go. <gasps> I like it. That to me, I mean, I like how the presents, like how they're, they just get cut off. Yeah. All right. And then I'm not going to pop this up. Just glue this down. Yeah, Gail, we are in a turkey coma anyway. <laughs> you know, I, we had ham and turkey and um, I always eat too much the first round because we also had salad, which, you know, like why bother? But I like having salad. Um, but I didn't get any ham because I was too full. So I'm going to have to, maybe I'll eat something again in another two hours. We're going to watch a movie or something. Mmm, I like it. Now, all this white space here, that might be a place for um, the tag, like a greeting. Let's grab one of these uh, just for size because I really don't like all that white sticking out. Um, but, yep, that's going to be the perfect place because then I'll have some ribbon poking out of there. Okay. Put that over to the pile. Let's do one uh, with the snowman. So this time I really used a lot of the brick folder because I like it. Um, but I also did Parisian flourish. So, hmm, actually, you know what? No, let's do, let's do him in pool party and macrame. Why not? I have old olive. Nope, not doing it. Pool party it is in the macrame folder. And again, I think I'm going to do the same thing with him. Glue him on like partially and then cut it off. So let's do it like this. And then this side, I'm just going to cut by hand because I don't want to cut that his earmuff off. Earmuffs. I remember that from a movie. Oop. Sticky, sticky. He's cute. You know what make him even cuter is uh, Wink Estella all over to make him sparkly. Mm-mm-mm. All right, now as I layer this, so just a teeny little bit is going to have to come off. All right, let's see if this is better. And I am going to pop this up. I just want to see, like, is it going to fit? Yep, good enough. Awesome. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's take 
I got a new one of these, but I always want to use every last little bit. Oh yeah. The sparkly, the Wink of Stella makes a difference. very very shimmery I think I will do another one um, with glitter especially like down here down his sides down the side of his face yeah I like that all right so we've got that one that one um ooh, and it's nine o'clock yikes let's do one more uh, just to give you the ideas but I am gonna go and finish all of these all right, last one, let's do something with more presents. Um, or, mm -mm -mm. wait a minute, we did a snowman and we did presents, so let's use this tree. Ooh, all right, and we can use these presents. So we can do similar, but like opposite. Yeah, Rose, I'm totally gonna gussy them up. Um, but that is gonna be, I think, tomorrow. Uh, because I don't want to keep you guys here forever. Plus, I told my husband I'd be done at 9 so we could watch a movie. Alright, so let's glue this on. And I can't really see this side. Okay, that looks good. Alright. And then I'm just gonna trim this Oop. right off with my tree. Stuff like this, right in the garbage. I don't need to save that. So Poppy Parade, five and a half by four and a half, my standard. All right, let's put this here. I'm glad to see these embossing folders um, in the carryover list, the Mary Medley and or Melody and the Timber. I haven't used the Timber one enough, but I'm glad that we have it. All right, and then we'll trim these. Okay, this is a teeny tiny, teeny tiny edge. So I'm just gonna keep it close. And actually I'm gonna trim them all this close so they're even. And then we'll make our new pile. Oh, look at this. Hmm. All right, we can have this one. Wait a minute, that goes that way. There, there. Nope, let's do that one here. Oh, you know what? Let's do a little pop them up. Yeah, I still have a ton of this stuff left. Let's put that there. And, hmm. Yep, that can go there. And I'm only putting the foam, I'm leaving this border right there so I can like cover, I can go over top, overlap it a little. Oh, let's do it this way. So like all on that side. And then this one I will go underneath and not pop it up. Just so there's a difference in height. Let's 
do that. Neat. Okay, I like that too. All right, so I still have one, two, three, four, four card bases, um, but I am not going to continue. I'm going to gussy these up, um, but let's just look at what I have left. I have two trees left, two full size trees, so I can make more five by sevens, or I can switch it up and do like the A4 size or A2 size. Let me get my pin in here real quick. Oh, come on. Man, that seems like it's picky. Oh, look at that. Has anybody ever bent their pin before? Oh, all right, I'm gonna have to mess with that. All right, we have two trees left. We have three packages left and we have two snowmen. So, mm, I think I'm gonna be able to get a lot more cards. All right, but let's look at what we have. We have our, we have three regular size A2 cards, let's say that. Then I've got four five by sevens. You don't know how mad I am right now about that needle bending because I paid like 10 bucks for that online. Oh, they got me. All right, so we've got four five by sevens and three uh, regular size cards. And then I got these boxes that I made. So this was a two by four box and this was a two and a quarter by six box. Um, and we will doll those all up. So I'm gonna add greetings, um, tart them up and post pictures. So again, thanks for hanging out. All right, good night.